weekly vlog. Today is Thursday, February the 22nd. So I, I guess this can be my first vlog of 2024. Yeah, it's been a minute. So I don't know why I look washed out. I promise it's just a little dim in here, but I guess I can vlog a day in my life. Um, I can try. I have to get right in ready for school. I have to run a couple of errands today. So I guess I can take you guys along on my day. And I don't think I have class tonight, but I'm gonna double check to make sure. I mean, it's no big deal if I have class. I'll have to, you know, go to class if I do, but I'm pretty sure I don't. It's more like a, if we have to, if we want, if we had questions, she's available to still talk to us through Zoom. So I'm assuming I'm pretty sure she did say no class. I, I I know I heard it right. Like I had class on Tuesday, but I didn't really do anything yesterday and the day before, but I do have some homework I want to finish today. And like I said, I have errands um, pretty much after I drop off Brayden. So I can sit and chat with you guys. So he is still sleeping. The alarm had went off. So I got to get him up and ready for school. I guess take you guys along on my routine so it's a new year but same routine so i got a new phone by the way so i don't know how the camera quality gonna be but it's just so weird i don't know if it's gonna be any different but it looks about the same i don't know but yeah let me go ahead and um put some pants on and get this little kiddo up and ready for school So yeah, I did get a new phone. This is my old phone. I got the new iPhone 15 Plus, which I was so excited about. I had decided to treat myself to a new phone. But yeah, this is the old one, so I gotta go drop it off today. Might as well go ahead and get that done today. And then I wanna try to go to a, a store, like a lighting store to talk to a consultant, but I don't know if I'm able to yet. It's kind of further away from where I live and I have to call and make an appointment, but I have other errands I have to do. So I might probably do that tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna show you the realistic of how I get this boy up for bed. Sometimes he's stubborn. This is that easy. It's all, it's all sleepy. He's so sleepy. Sleepy boy, huh? He's a sleepy boy. So yeah, here I'll put it towards me because I think he ain't gonna have no clothes on, so. Oh, hi. Good morning. Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah. Good morning. He's still sleepy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him his teeth brush and wash his face. Obviously, I'm not gonna put the camera on him because he's too sleepy and, and cranky. So uh, once I get him ready, then I can vlog again in a sec. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so easy peasy. Um, this little snack. school um i don't know how the camera camera might fall <laughs> y'all step in
told her she was hired to work at the radio station. I need a tripod. She started in sales and then this ain't gonna work. The general manager. She wanted though to buy her own station, but 32 banks turned it down. But she kept asking, and eventually someone said yes. Kathy Hughes not only became the owner, but also the morning show host. Yet due to tight finances, she actually had to live in the station for a while. But she kept striving and kept fighting. And today she is the owner of Urban One. That was a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we, we made it though, we made it one piece. But we're gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a walk. All right, let's go. I made it. All right, I can't go in the house. I don't wanna come back out here alone. Okay. I'm getting so good and better at pumping now. It's crazy. I look so straight. Period. I'm sweating. I'm actually sweating in this hat. Okay, so I'm back home. That was a little stressful, not gonna lie, I'm sweating. But I have boiled me some sausages to eat for breakfast real quick. And then I'm gonna try to, um, I'm just gonna relax for a minute. And then I'm going to try to head out and go to the Verizon store. So, yeah. I just need to drop off the doggone phone. I don't have to go anywhere else. That's it. That's it. So, I don't think I have anything else to vlog at the moment. Like I said, I'm just waiting for my food to be done. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. So I made it to the place. I see a Verizon here. Obviously they're not open, but I kind of wanted to go to Starbucks. I should just went back there to Starbucks. Should I turn around? I don't want nobody parking by me. Starbucks is over there. So I think I'll go ahead and walk over there actually. No big deal and sit and eat. This driving stuff is just stressful, okay? But I'm a new driver, for those who don't know. I just got my license. But I'm sitting here a little earlier. I'm a little too early, actually. It's just kind of crazy. But it's okay. I got my Starbucks. Um, I'm just, I just want to drop off the phone. That's all I want to do. I'm here too early. Hmm. I might give, give me a sandwich, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, but, um, so yeah, I got my license and I was terrified of driving. And I'm a little terrified still, believe it or not. I need a, a phone mount. This is my mama's car, so I don't have a, she don't have a phone mount. But I guess I can sit here and talk to you guys how I got my license. So I had got my permit back in December and then I took some classes in January and I officially had got my license on Valentine's Day. So I was like so excited, I was so geeked, I was so like ready to drive, but I don't know, it's, it's exciting, but it's a little scary because this is literally out of my comfort zone and I have driven before just, Keep that in mind. I've driven before, but 
not like this. The part that I'm terrified of is how to get out of here. That's what I'm terrified of because, I mean, the roads don't look so busy right now. That's what that's the beauty of coming out doing stuff early. Is get stuff done because everybody's at work. It's not that much traffic, and I just want to drop off the phone and go home. I'm just ready to go home because I'm a little too early, which I just realized, and that's okay. They open at ten. They open at ten a.m. And there's a duckling right behind my car. Get away! Where all these ducklings come from? I don't want to get a ticket hitting y'all now. Y'all, look. Look at this. Why is y'all by my car? Where is y'all coming from? Are you kidding me? They're just chilling, just taking over the parking lot, aren't they? Just, you know, doing it. Where is y'all going? Like, what? Are you kidding me? It's no, it's the geese is, because you can't in Michigan. If you hit a geese, you're going to you're going to get fined and you're going to be in trouble. And I ain't trying to get in trouble. Okay. Like. They're trying to cross the street. And they're going to have to stop if they cross. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I am trying to get over my fear of driving. I'm trying to get over this fear. I drove a few times. But it's been a long time since I have actually driven. And this is the first time I've driven in like five years. Like maybe, no, I'm being dramatic. Maybe, yeah, nope, it has been five years because I had bought my first car in 2019 and I wrecked it and it was bound to happen because I was driving without a license at the time, which was not smart, but I had now did the right way where I had decided to go ahead and get my permit, the training that I needed. I've been training for two months and, um, I got my license and I did it the right way, but it's just, you know, there you go. Let them go. Let the little duckies go. So yeah, it's just, you know, kind of scary because, you know, even though I did it like the right way and stuff, but it's just still scary because I'm still out here in the world. Like the traffic is flowing up here. It's flowing, honey. It's not slowing down. And I'm a little intimidated. But you know what? I'm not going to be, I'm not going to let that get to me. So I'll figure that out when I get the heck out of here. So yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. I I had definitely wanted to get my license because I wanted to add more content to my vlogs. You know, show you guys where I be going. Yeah, yeah. Hello, editing Amber popping in. I just wanted to address something real quick. So basically... The real reason why I want to get my license, it was not just for YouTube. I don't know why that popped in my brain. I mean, of course, that was part of it. But really, the number one thing was to be mobile. I wanted to be more mobile, more reliable, especially for my kid. Because, you know, he is in school now. And if something happened where they call me where I need to pick him up, I want to be that person where I can be able to jump in a car and go when he needs me. You know what I'm saying? Versus having to take an Uber or waiting for my parents to take me. You know, which they've been great. They've been amazing helping me through this whole journey. Um, I don't know what I would do without them. But I'm just saying that I wanted to definitely be more, more reliable. And I felt pretty limited to that. So now that I have my license, I feel like that lifted some weight and stress off my shoulders because that was really the biggest stressful thing was not having a license. And the Uber's costs, they're expensive, especially me. I'm in school as, as well, and it gets really expensive going back and forth to school because um, 
it was just too much and i was like okay i I can't do this i have to have my license and because i have an internship next year that i want to be ready for i want to be able to be able to drive to jobs if i have to go like if i'm assigned to places i have to go i want to be able to drive and do it you know what i'm saying versus ubers which is possible you can do it but i just feel like it wasn't realistic for me you know for me as a single person, if I was by myself, like a single person, like, okay, like, whatever. But, you know, I have other responsibilities, especially if he has appointments, like, he had a dental appointment um, later this this summer, and then I have an eye appointment next month, um, well, in a couple months, actually. And, you know, I have other things I need to do, and I need, a, I need my license to be able to do that. So that was pretty much the big thing for me. Like, I definitely wanted to be more, you know, independent on that era. So that's what I did. Uh, I had rushed everything back in my 20s, which is the only thing I had regret was rushing everything. I kind of wish I had took my time on everything. Like, I just wish I had waited to buy a car. I wish that I had took my driver's classes more you know seriously i wish i was more patient with it because i wasn't patient with myself that's really the thing i wasn't patient with myself and i just kind of wanted to reach out to the people who is in my situation where you're later in life and you feel like you're not accomplishing things that you want to accomplish it's gonna come you just have to really put in the work and put your mind into it and that's what i had to do like it's never too late to get your degree. It's never too late to get your car. It's never too late to buy your house. It's never too late to get your license. It's never too late to do anything that you want to do. Because everyone's journey and everyone's timeline is different. And I had realized that. So it's never too late. I mean, we're not the typical 16, 15 year olds that was able to get their permit license back then. I could have, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time. But, you know the past is the past i'm looking forward to this new chapter now that i'm driving and yeah so i am looking forward to you know expanding my content now that i'm driving but i definitely want to get get comfortable get my feet wet so i'm showing you guys the experience of me driving for the first time in like five years i have driven before but i finally been, I, i'm finally driving legal i'm legal now like i am licensed okay so he's like talking over me i don't know what he's doing but yeah i just want to hop on here and say that real quick so yeah back to the vlog going and stuff obviously i'm not gonna do too much of it because this is not my car and i'm a liability on using someone else's car my mom is trusting me with her car because she trusts me she feels like i'm a good driver and i am a good driver it's just you know i tend to overthink a lot and that's my issue and I need to stop doing that so I have to have trust in myself because sometimes I don't trust myself you know that I will be a good driver and I feel like that will take time I see cars piling up they're going to that Verizon store but I want to trust myself that I will do a good job and you know that'll be safe and I just wanted, I just needed to, this is the only reason why I'm out, or otherwise my butt will be in the house. I needed to drop off this phone. Because I got the new iPhone 15 Plus. This is the old phone that I'm turning in. It's like dead, but everything's erased. I charged it yesterday. See? So, I, I'm sure they probably inspect it, and, um... You know, make sure everything is good. It's in good condition. It's like still practically new. No cracks or nothing. I've taken good care of this phone. It's just a little dirty at the bottom. But other than that, I'm sure they probably clean up and resell it or something. So yeah, this is what I'm out here for. See, it's like really old. I'm going to turn this off. Can I turn this off? So yeah, that's what I'm out here for. So once I drop this off, then I can get the heck on about my day and go home because I do have some homework I need to do I ain't going nowhere else I'm not I ain't going nowhere else I did thought about going to Target after this but nah I don't want to go to Target um yeah I don't want to go to Target I don't need anything from Target 
it just gives me more excuse to spend money but i didn't mind going to starbucks because i had like a gift card for my birthday last year and i finally was using it and this was like five dollars so whatever um how do i turn it off whatever i can't even turn it off i'll get the van and hopefully don't park right next to me don't park next to me so don't park next to me so yeah but i kind of want to wait five minutes until you know i go in there and then um just drop off the phone and go that's all and then uh, everything else i'll just you know leave it to god because the driving is not the issue it's just how to get around here that's the thing i'm not i'm not best at directions and i'm by myself for the first time in like a long time so it's kind of surreal that i am driving let me just go okay so i'll see you guys in a second Stalk me, stalker. Let me can't button it up. cars to go so I can go Lord see this is what I'm saying like where are all y'all coming from so yeah can I turn on the red I can't I actually can I show you hate coming up here this looks really awkward like this like let me see if i can put y'all like up here oh this would have been better right here but yeah um i should have parked up here 
hopefully they'll be right behind me. Can I pull up a little more? Pull up a little more. I feel like I want to pull up a little more. I want to pull up a little bit more. So nobody don't be all up on me. Like right here is perfect for me. Perfect. So I'm going to be all up on my tail. I'm perfect right here. I'm fine right here. I could just sit for a bit. <clears throat> all right, so I'm parked here now. Hopefully I'm not crooked. Hopefully I'm not crooked. Am I crooked? I don't know. Probably. But whatever. Um. So yeah. I cannot believe. I've been driving. I should have the car like this. This will be a good mount for now. Until I figure out. <laughs> until I figure out how to get this mount in the car. Is that construction behind me? Oh, that's from the other side. But, um... Yeah, I'm sitting here waiting for Brayden. I'm I'm very early, so I kind of rather be here early just to get a spot and not have to worry about, you know, fighting the public, fighting the traffic. It's a straight shot. Boom. It's a little bit ways away as far as walking distance, and that's okay. Because I love this spot, and I'd rather have this spot. I'm away from cars, so that's pretty much the beauty of it. Um, Cause people be people's gonna be coming, so I'm happy that I'm early. Actually, I could have easily parked on the other side, but I just don't want to park the other side because buses actually go there before anything. So this is okay. This is totally okay. All right, so we're back home. Um, I had, we just ate a little dinner. He is a little snacky snack. <clears throat> now I'm going to. I want to try to do that homework, but I gotta look at my computer and see real quick on the directions, real quick. Because I want to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. No, so. I have a fork. Oh, I'm off fork? Okay. Give me a second. Fork. Grand Grand making you some rice. You want some rice? Yeah. yeah? Okay. That chicken from, from the rotisserie chicken from Sam's Club is so good it's and flavorful. Wings. Yeah. You want chicken wings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can probably get you some. But anyway, um, I gotta look at my module real quick because I want to make sure them doing this correctly so i gotta look at the directions of how it should be done i gotta do the furniture plan make sure it's carpet texture floorings okay cool all right so that should be easy to knock out real quick <clears throat> i didn't get a call back from the lady so i might call tomorrow I might call tomorrow and see. Tomorrow's Friday. I can do two days out of it. I can do two day vlog or something because I don't know if this will be enough footage, but. Yeah, let me figure this out. I think so. easy for it. I'm at the grocery hey. store. I drove to the store. Which one? I'm not here right now. Next time. Okay. Really like the uh, these here. I feel like they don't work that good. Yeah. Which one? This one. Oh, okay. Your nephew wants this. Do I have a smaller box? Nope. Look, 
Oh yeah, that one ice cream. Yeah, I told you they only got it from Dash Mart. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead in this video but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy a day of my life it's a little boring today didn't do much but hopefully you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>